she's, she's asking what, um, what Islam says about a lady uh, who's, married, who's been married several times and has children with several men. Uh, what, is, what Islam says about a man, uh, a Muslim man, if, she, he, if, is it, if it's good to marry a woman like that or not. What, what Islam advises a man to, uh, to choose when it comes to a woman who has several children okay. with yeah, different pa parents, no. with different fathers. The Prophet وسلم, is the best example. He married a lot of widows. And also women who was married before. The first wife of the Prophet, Khatija, yeah, she was a widow. Not, not only with it. She was married before she got children, and there's no problem. There's no problem to the extent that at that time, the Prophet was only 25 years old, and Khatija was? 40. 40 years. Even Khatija is older than Prophet Muhammad, no problem. Can you imagine, sister? So there's no problem for a sister who is married, and then she was divorced because you know, Allah made things happen. And you know, then now another man want to remarry with her is good. According to the Islamic teaching, the Muslim is being also recommended highly by the Prophet to marry yeah, a divorcee or a widow. To take care of the children. Because they are, if they are widows, that means the children are yatim. So it's very important for you to take care of the orphans. So that the orphans feel that they still have a father figure. So Islamically, it is uh, highly recommended through the practice of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Now this is different between the Jahiliya system. The Jahiliya system, if a woman uh, become a widow or if she's been divorced by the husband, no man will want to marry her anymore. The community consider this woman useless. But Islam, no. Islam protects the right and the honor of this woman. That she is just like another woman. She have the right, she have the right to be honored, and the right to be remarried again. Yeah, it's allowed.